Good morning children. Now you know what is a rational number. So let us see the properties of rational numbers. What happens when we add two integers? Let us see. 17 plus 23. It is equal to 40. 19 plus minus 26. Here we are adding one positive and other negative integer. So we get here 26 minus 19 and we need to put the sign of number which has higher absolute value which is 26. So its sign that is minus is brought here and we get answer as 26 minus 19 is 7 and answer becomes minus 7. What do we see here? When we add two integers, the sum is always an integer. And this is closure property of addition. Here we have rational numbers. 1 by 4, 6, 0 0.5. All these are rational numbers. Why? Because all of these can be expressed as ratio of integers. 1 by 4, 6 can be written as 6 by 1, 0 0.5 can be written by 5 by 10. So, all these have been expressed in the format P by Q with Q not equal to 0 and P and Q are integers. Hence, all of these are rational numbers. Let's add two rational numbers and see what happens. Taking LCM of 2 and 4, we get 4 and in the numerator, we get 2 minus 1. So, the answer is 1 by 4. What do we see here? This is a rational number, 1 by 4. So, we can say when we add two rational numbers, the sum is always a rational number. This is closure property of addition. Now let's see subtraction of integers. 9 minus 7 is equal to plus 2. Minus 21 minus minus 10 is equal to minus 21. Minus minus becomes plus. So we get plus 10. And here the answer becomes minus 11. 21 minus 10 is 11 and we put the sign of number which has higher absolute value which is 21 and it has negative sign. So it becomes minus 11. As you can see answer is always an integer while we subtract one integer from another integer. So we say when we subtract two integers we will always get an integer and this is closure property of subtraction. We say integers are closed under subtraction. Now what happens in the case of rational numbers? Let us see. Here we have 1.7 minus 1 by 3. 1.7 can be written as 17 by 10. We remove this decimal, so in the denominator we get 10. So here we have 17 by 10 minus 1 by 3. Taking out LCM, we get 30 and 17 3s are 51. And here we get 10 1s are 10. So 51 minus 10. And we get answer as 41 divided by 30. If we see the answer here is a rational number because it is in the standard form of P by Q. Both P and Q are integers and Q is as we can see not equal to 0. So what can we say? We say when we subtract two rational numbers we will 
always get a rational number. This we can say is closure property for subtraction. That is, rational numbers are closed under subtraction. What happens when we multiply two integers? Minus 20 multiplied by minus 5. Here, minus minus becomes plus and answer is 20 multiplied by 5 which is 100. So, answer is plus 100 or just 100 you can say. Next, we have minus 15 multiplied by 17. Here, minus into plus becomes minus and hence the answer is minus 255. So, the product is always an integer and we say that integers are closed under multiplication. Let us see what happens when we multiply two rational numbers. Here we have minus 2.5 multiplied by 1 by 5. Now, minus 2.5 can be written as minus 25 by 10. We remove this decimal from the numerator and we get 10 in the denominator. This multiplied by 1 by 5 and we can reduce it 5 ones are 5, 5 fives are 25. We can further reduce it 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. So the answer here is minus 1 by 2. What do we see here? The answer here is a rational number as it is in the format p by q where p and q are integers. p here is minus 1 and q is 2 and as we can see q is not equal to 0. So what can we say? We can say when we multiply two rational numbers, the product is always a rational number. This is closure property of multiplication. Now the question comes, are rational numbers closed under division? If you use a calculator, then try to divide 7 by 0. What you see? You will see 7 cannot be divided by 0. So, we can say rational numbers are not closed under division. Why? Because 0 is also a rational number and when we divide one rational by another rational number, we are not getting a rational Thus, we can say Rational numbers are closed under addition, subtraction and multiplication. The important thing to remember here is rational numbers are not closed under division because when we divide two rational numbers, the answer is not a rational number in all cases. For example, when we divide by zero. So that was all about closure property of rational numbers. Bye bye children.